Sorry, doesn't this look So, you didn't round me for any period of time. Uh, let's just say I do play some odd games every so often. And this, this is a ROM hack of a ROM hack. I did this for the, um, you know me and Jelly Beans community. I did this for the Mario Shuffler. I put this in as the joke game. Which is basically a ROM hack of Chippendale's Rescue Rangers for the NES. Just ported to... Just ported to the Mega Drive via Thailand. So it pretty much still controls the same. Just that no one has any idea what it is, except me, because I'm stupid. And because of my incessant um, record keeping, I realized I hadn't done this one. Somehow. So, may as well do another full playthrough. Why not? There's nothing else better to do. It does not, in fact, play like that. Mario is the first thing you should discard from your mind when playing this game. Accept it for all its weakness. You cannot go down pipes. You cannot do much else, except pick up and throw boxes in very strategically placed locations. No one occasionally throw a fireball. You know, because Mario's got to do the uh, got to do the good old Hadouken. So, thinking, how long is this going to be chronic? I don't know. <laughs> I believe it will take me... Anywhere between 45 minutes and, uh, and an hour and a half. As you can see, there are many famous locales. This is World 1-3, if you think about it for long enough. Might, might be able to, like, sort of... Unsquint your eyes, throw it upside down, and then maybe it might make sense. Including para <laughs> paragoombas with no wings. Yes, it does happen, and it's very silly. But faithful recreation of, uh, of the SNES version of, <laughs> of the castles. Another one. Here he is. It's the boy. It's Bowser, and then he kind of disappears and does this shit. <laughs> they even added more sprites to Bowser. Gave him a tongue sticking out. And now he's dead. So that's it. <laughs> Alright. Now on for some of the same. <laughs> Behold. We have not reached the weirdness yet. So what's the original story behind this? Well, if I remember correctly, off the top of my head, this was actually a uh, an arcade game made for Thailand specifically who wanted to get round the Disney uh, lawsuit. Don't ask me what that means. It obviously has happened. Why the Mario skin? Someone thought it was funny. Um, this is still running off like the old Gens emulator that I have in my files. Yes, that old when it came with three games, including Robocod. So I'm very sad. Yes, Robocod is not a particularly nice game. The best of times. Because you can't keep track of a great number of things. How many gems is it to, to gain life? Hmm. <laughs> I do not know. You can still probably be hurt by enemies while they're in timeout.
Oh, wait. Oh, we're back at another castle. Is it going to be Bowser again? Maybe. Who knows? Could also be a chicken in a mask, for all I know. And yes, it is very gang. You drop like a rock. Here's Bowser again. Behold, Bowser 2. Oops. Well, not that it matters, so I get a full heal after this world. And he still hurts you, <laughs> even when he's dead. Oh, mushroom land. Oh, get high. And we have the first change of music as well. Get used to it, it'll only happen when we change worlds. Also, it will flicker if certain things are on screen. I'm running this on an emulator that was usable in 2004. So, uh, flickering is probably going to happen. Usually when the emulator is overloaded. still get the Gens emulator, but I don't know what state it is in now, or why you want to, anyway. And am I proficient in it? Yes, because I spent a lot of my misplaced youth playing this damn thing. shows I have a sort of knack for bad games, I guess. I can do whatever the hell I like. I can just play crap games and somehow find some enjoyment out of them every so often. Though I'd like to keep the uh, ROM hack stuff to a minimum. something I really terribly want to keep doing. ROM hacks usually tend to be not the most pleasant of things. Uh, if it's a ROM hack that makes the game better, uh, you know, yeah, I'll be all for it, but that's the only time. Like, this is not a good ROM hack. <laughs> this is just dumb bullshit. Meow. Mankind discovers pets. Oh, very funny, Bob. Here, Meow Dola. How is Meow? I don't know if it's uh, enough to comprehend the fever dream that I am playing right now. <laughs> well, that box just went to space. It can do whatever it likes on there. How's me? I'm okay for a minute. I, uh have been recovering. 
because I got uh, I got uh, gas poisoned yesterday by a leaky piece of equipment that no one said anything about. Yep, that happens. Someone had not informed anyone of the fact that uh, a grill had started leaking gas. Damn it. Thankfully, other than some dizziness and some your uh, disorientation, I am still alive. Oh, I forgot. Can't hold more than one button in this. Uh, press any other button other than holding jump, you'll drop incredibly fast. Because level of jank. Though I hear clamouring already that someone will want me to do pancakes. <laughs> Maybe, who knows? Although he's got uh, the emulator starting to blink, which is always pleasant news. Oh, that was a life, I believe. Find a star, that's a life. Straight and instant life. Oh, this stuff. Uh. I'm guessing it's trying to replicate the uh, falling bridge stuff that you can find in some Super Mario World stuff. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I forgot. Sometimes some of the uh, areas have to be... You have to save your boxes. You can't throw them away. Ow. Damn it! A fish. Mortal Nemesis. I'm almost trying to get myself killed now. Okay, there we go, there's a trigger. Like, somewhere in midair, there's a trigger for the fish. Also, if you like gaining heart, uh, gaining crystals all the time, it means you just got a life loop plus a free life. So, uh, weird. There you go. I remember how many levels there are to this. I think it's a set of four off the top of my head. Well, we have a uh, plumber pig who has the ultimate defense of spinning round. Mankind discovers 
I'd point out, this is from Thailand. Pants would be an accurate description. And it's gone. There we go. Samurai knife, guys. This is probably the most bopping part of this, the uh, the soundtrack to this this area. There we go. Just have to kind of, you know, understand how to clip through the in <laughs> the barriers of the world. <laughs> of which I am apparently very, very much qualified. <laughs> Is that? This is what I mean by like I like playing games from across the world because there's so many like strange experiences you can have without just turning to ROM hacks. Straight up raining boulders, yeah. Raining boulders from a lasser in the sky. Hey. Wants a good old musical quote. I mean, to be fair, there is also Pac-Man 2, which has a ball to just turn up out of nowhere. Oop, okay. Mario got his fire stuck in the floor. That just saved my life. Should not be complaining about his girth. and then I die. And you cannot, like, crouch and pick things up. You have to kind of just deal with it. Oops. Oh, boy. Screw King and Panda Prince, yep. Panda Prince is, uh, is Dark Slash's thing, Squirrel King is mine. Peach 
pizza background. Uh, yeah, kind of. Instead of a molten cave, it's a pile of pizza. You know, everyone who hasn't eaten is hungry. Although it sort of has that same background as Aladdin does. And yes, that is a pixel book. Here's a uh, here's a rooster on a mo on a unicycle. Or is it an ostrich? I don't know. Most of their attack patterns are pretty easy to read, mostly. Is it mostly? You get three fire fists at the start of every battle, so. No idea. I haven't actually had much of a chance to play anything outside of uh, free. Don't do that. Hopping is illegal in this state. Ah. Okay. What? Wait. What? What? Premium fried drank. Premium fried jank. to last world? Oh no, it's five. Yeah, it's five levels to this. Because the last one is a circus theme, I think. Because, you know, it's always a circus theme. I'm blunt. I don't know what I'm going to do if I beat this too fast. I don't think so, somehow. But most bosses drop an item because there's not enough, like, ways to damage them. There is a possibility that I just clipped into them. Fuck, I've just killed myself. Yes, I, I don't know. Because Chippendale did actually have that mechanic where they would, um, like one of the bosses has a box constantly falling down a waterfall. And Chippendale was made before um DKC. Although this does definitely sound very, very, very much like Donkey Kong Country, I do admit. Oh the music, yeah. Uh, that was the second thought I had. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. It's a very remixed version of it, but... Crap. Also, I think... Uh, there are no more free lives. Kind of just have to leg it to the end without dying. It always goes well.
I'm having to now guess where uh, something is above me. Instead of, you know, seeing it. So you said the blind man. Oh no, there is a tree life. I'm going to out my ass. It smells very good down there sometimes. Did this game cost me absolutely nothing. is one of the, uh, this is the only title I'll ever emulate, because trying to pick up this originally is nigh on impossible because of DMCA. Not DMCA. Um, nice, uh, copyright laws. Like, a lot of them. <laughs> like, if someone could find an active working version of Squirrel King, I would be very impressed and also mortified. <laughs> but that actually was the same statement I gave when I originally streamed this was I would this would be the only game I would ever emu uh, emulate because it was the only way I could play it. Every other game I try and go out of my way to get a physical copy, but this is one that if I could get a physical copy, I would be very confused. Screaming would not would not really cut it. a charging chalk enemy that was just kind of casually hanging around. Celeste. Um, I don't know, they had to put in a hurt sound at some point, and they couldn't exactly just use, you know, Disney effects. Scream. Oh, what? Uh, stock Japanese scream number three for small children. <laughs> I 
How's the ROM hack today? It's very good, Matt. How are you? I am casually replacing the file that I didn't have. Hello, Steve! Okay, everyone's now turning up. How's it going, everyone? I mean, it is like a ROM hack of a game produced in Thailand, so... Which was exclusively to get around Disney's copyrights. Mario is cute. Oh yeah, Steve, you've now got your emotes, haven't you? I forgot. <laughs> oh god, I'm stuck in the floor. Try not to clip through the floor constantly, because it kind of breaks part of the engine <laughs> of whatever they built this in. Had to be head pass. Always the head pass. matter if I use the fire hammer at this point because I'm probably gonna die before I get to the top. I am experiencing a darker waterfall than those of the Lion King. Which I think someone I actually going to ask this as like the question of the day. Um would people say that Westwood yeah Westwood, you know the guys who produce Red Alert and Command and Conquer and a bunch of other stuff. Would you say that the Lion King is considered a rite of passage? Well, I've heard that argument before. It's like, the Lion King, for all its bullshit, would it be considered a rite of passage to being a retro streamer because you're having to deal with absolute garbage? <laughs> All the head pads. Every last one. You gotta, you gotta respect the people that have the head pads in much. Which means I get to remember. Hi <laughs> damn, how's it going? Yeah, the, that Lion King. I, oh, fuck. <laughs> There's a lot of people coming in today. Hi, how's it going? Everyone's just watching me play Jank. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling that is, because literally that is a game which will wall you off in level 2. For some. Like, if you can't do I can't wait to be king. Oh shit! <laughs> I know. No, it's not, Zeke. <laughs> Hi guys, how's it going? <laughs> oh my word. Right, I should probably like... It's just Panda Prince, it is. Like, I'm gonna say it to everyone, like... A lot of the people in here are streamers. If you're not following them, or follow me. Um, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> we're all, all uh, having a nice, relaxed time. In what is otherwise, this would never be seen. <laughs> yeah, Mook. Yeah, I know. Save it for everyone else. Get followed, nurse. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I do a lot of, like, the promotion for a lot of people here, I guess. 
Moo moo. Thanks, Zeke, for uh, resubscribing and uh, enjoying those cute, cute, cute boy emotes. Still going on those adventures. Come some money, free money, or is it? And uh, for those that aren't aware, we um, Nightbot occasionally mentions that there are incentives for cash, like the amount of cash raised. This is cumulative. So uh, any amount of money that gets uh, that oh crap, I made the same mistake again. Um, any money that's raised, we are currently at a fifth of the first target, which is roughly around fifty dollars. So uh, thank you so much, everyone. I've been affiliate for only a year. Yes, su um, subs count for money. Anything that um, that is donated counts towards that goal. So, uh, any any subs, any bits, any cheers, any... How long is the goal for? No, this is, um... Oh, God. I'm trying... Yeah, I mean, if you enjoy streaming, then go with it. Uh, how long is the goal on for? Uh, permanently. The, uh, the maximum monetary goal, which I have already put a pin on, just to say how much it is, is $10,000 lifetime. Please don't spend that much on me. <laughs> I, I am but a humble cu curate of uh, video games. Uh, uh, no, no, no. It's, it's cumulative. So that's everyone raising it together. See, that's the thing. I always felt like I didn't have that much to offer in terms of incentives. I can't do long streams. So I was just like, you know, follow goals, monetary... Uh, like, when I reached affiliate, I had ideas for, um, like, monetary ones that didn't have to be just one person. So, you know, don't... It's not to make anyone feel pressured. It's just to make, sort of, make it, like, a fun examination of some... Games that I'd rather not stream. Tired of cyberpunk. Um, depends what you're in the mood for. Like, I'm one of those people. If you need to find another long game, then uh, there's plenty out there. I am currently playing Like a Dragon, which is fantastic. But then there's also other things, I guess, at the moment. I'm not entirely certain. You have a plan? Oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> I, I am an influence in probably the worst way, as I've, as many people have found out. Uh, they do stuff, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. That's a, I just accidentally, offhandedly mentioned something. I'm for some reason, I'm getting Jenny Beans back into Earthbound. Don't ask why. <laughs> I don't know why either. Ah, uh, Super Mario RPG. I need to cover that at some point. No. Robocop looks interesting. Um, but the only games I have on my radar at this very moment in time are... Um, uh, like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, which, because I'm playing the first one, having fun. Obvious. Uh, the second one is... Uh, Turbo Overkill. Turbo Overkill is fantastic looking. Yeah, it's an FPS, but still, it looks like a really good FPS. Yeah, I I would wait for a sale for it. The uh, the demo is actually quite extensive if you want to like try before you buy. It's made by the same guys that made uh, Terminator Resistance. So, uh, they have a love for the source material. Yeah, it's like one of those situations, like, 
you know, Elder Scrolls games. You can make it as long or as short as you want. Depends on how much side activity you want to do. Hit one ending. Yeesh. I've put 60 hours into Like a Dragon and I still haven't finished. I think I'm still at... I'm not even at chapter 12 yet. I think I'm still at chapter 10. No, 11. Excuse me. So I'm still... Five chapters away from being done? It's gonna be a while. Oh god, I was meant to thank you. Uh, yeah, here's a rhinoceros with a half track tank for its legs. <laughs> yeah, I, I am one of those people that will be able to resist the rabbit hole. That's that's the thing. That's the thing I've always done is being able to resist the rabbit hole. <laughs> Got some heavy guns now. Yeah, he's, he, he's decided that he liked the look of... Uh, he liked the look of... Uh, heavy arms. I can make that any nerdier guy. I I <coughs> will occasionally oh, I feel like um I feel like um the best way of describing open world games is if it's not fun to get around in, why are you playing it? Just by the way in which we move and, and enjoy them. Like, if you're not going anywhere fast, then you're not going anywhere at all. And to be fair, I, um, I don't have very much time for RPGs, but I am trying to make as much time as I can. Uh, I have two RPGs on the docket at the moment. I am almost done with one. I've had to cut down a limit my um, overall goal for a limited saga because I'm just not getting enough time to explore that game fully. Uh, but there will be... Wait, where'd he go? <laughs> um, there may be a small problem. <laughs> Alright, done. <laughs> Oh dear. This is fine. No, I didn't soft lock it. Um, it just stopped working. I think that hit was meant to kill him, and then, unfortunately, because it elevated his sprite above where it's supposed to be, he died. <laughs> he died in heaven. Yeah, I've experienced quite a few of them. I mean, uh... People who are here for Dai Katana. Yeah, we experienced quite a few of those. Insanely long fuses. Make an entire construction site out of their fuse. And also, I've done the shareware, the um, Apogee shareware showcase, which, yeah, soft locking was common in those uh, in the in uh, DOS games. Have I done it again? <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh god! Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what is <he> doing? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what is happening? Who knows any longer? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> now he's mad. Now he's mad. He's warping over the screen. Oh dear me. This is why I like some of the stuff that I get to revisit every so often. <laughs> There's so much weird crap. <laughs> Whenever I break a game, everyone's just like, Yeah, this, yeah, this is normal. <laughs> Swears on Hyper Metroid. Yeah, I guess with Sarabo, he loves Super Metroid. This is a very long boss, and I can't remember if it's the last one. <laughs> oh, there's one more! There's more stages! <laughs> With, uh... Haunted Cat Ghosts. <laughs> GG on the boss. Oh, this is this is Lion King music. This is um. Is this be prepared? Yes, it is. It's be prepared. This is the. Uh, Oh, hi. This is the uh, this is an even fartier version. Oh, Hakuna Matata. I've made it to um I think the only thing I've never done in Lion King is uh throwing Scar off the cliff. And yeah, the uh, the I don't know what that sound is, it just happens to exist. Nothing brings uh, nothing brings people out of the woodwork like weird bullshit. <laughs> oh, you made it to um. Oh, what's it called? Karnak's pit. In Battle Toads, which is stage six, yes. I ain't, I ain't playing that game again for someday. We'll try Battle Toads. You've got one person saying don't, one person saying, uh, I've already done that, just look at the highlights. <laughs> Last a month, it took me... I think it took me five, stri five strings to beat Battletoads in the European version. Yeah, I think when I did those streams, I had two, um, 
for Klingowing I had to change. Yeah, I, I I think when I replayed the game in my teenage years, I managed to get to uh, Terra Tubes. Terra Tubes is usually where my runs go to die half the time. Uh, and yet, and yet, I would like to point out, the NES version is not the hardest version. In fact, that is the, uh, that is the baby version. <laughs> there is harder. There is, uh, Battle Toads and Battle Maniacs, and there's also the Game Boy 1. The Game Boy 1 is notoriously difficult. Annoyingly so. Right, because Battle Toads and Battle Maniacs is, um... <coughs> is uh oh, okay. I lost my train of thought for a second. Battle Toads and Battle Maniacs is like more difficult in one sense. I think I meant to be further on. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm meant to be further up. Oh dear. I may have a problem. Oh no, there we go. <laughs> like, how, hang on a second, how am I meant to kill myself over here? <laughs> like the fact as soon as we bring up Battletoads, it's like, yeah, I've already done it. I care even less. Um. The Game Boy version is insane. The not the not in Ragnarok world, so you know a remake of the NES one. But the Game Boy one is almost could be described as monstrously annoying. Oh, don't 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 say Mega Man to me at the moment. I am really wanting to go on a tear and do another Mega Man stream at some point. Do it, do it now. No, you can't make me. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, because I think I was having a conversation with someone and... <laughs> it's more fun than this game. Yeah, probably. Um, which one, though? Probably five. Um, I mentioned my original, like... I was going to do, a, like, a charity run of... Uh, like, as many classic Mega Mans as I could get my hands on. And basically the whole thing was you could donate money to the charity and then just spin the wheel and screw with which game I'm playing. It even had a spicy one. I, have put in, I even put in Mighty Number no. 9. So, uh, yeah, I had a conversation about that today, which I'd love to do as a race. Like, two hours, how far can you get raising much money to charity whilst you're constantly having to change games? Have you ever heard of 20XX? One second. One second. Stop flickering in later. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> yes, I love 20XX. I think we started- I've started a run of 30xx on stream. I still haven't got around to finishing it. I do like the occasional roguelike, I just don't like it taking up my time too much.
Like, 30XX I only bought when it came out of early access, so I wasn't particularly interested otherwise. Yeah, they're, they're good games. I do recommend those. I think... <coughs> what was it the last time I played 30XX on stream? Uh, it got called... Waifu? Me Mega Man Waifu? I don't know why, it just did. Like, Nina's been my- oh, hello, this is Giant Bull. We're in Yokaiville. But this, compared to the last one, this is, uh, Brain Dead. It wasn't me that said called it a waifu. Um. Like, I, Nina's been my... Like anything now, yep. Um, Nina's been my... Uh... Stream mascot for uh, all, fi all five years that I've been streaming. Like, it was meant to be a deflated gas bag from... Uh, um, from Bastion. But instead, I couldn't find the original Let's Play image I have out of it. So instead it became Nina, and Nina's just kind of stuck. So. She will be there for the rest of her life, I guess. Well, the rest of my streaming career. up with me um uh, I think at this point it's just getting ready for Christmas um, I have a week off at some point which I have to go and set up the mystery shuffler yeah like I've got it even worse this year because I'm having to do takeaway and Christmas service um, There's no other jobs going around in my area at the moment for catering. And then, uh, I think yesterday, as some people have heard, I got, um, I got gas poison. Uh, okay, so, what happened with the floods was the fact that my drain was blocked with that. Yeah, I got gas poisoned yesterday. Um, the salamander grill that we use for, um, like, breakfast and things like that, it had a leak that no, that only one person knew about, and he had turned it off without informing anyone. Um, and then when I turned it back on in that evening, um, I started feeling, I literally put a tray of, a plate of nachos on the, uh, on, on the gantry, and I'm not that clumsy, I'm clumsy, but I'm not that clumsy. Um, it, I, what I thought I had put it on, um, natural gas, so it was in, uh, main supply. Uh, I put it on there, and it just fell off, I, my brain registered is on there, and it wasn't, so it fell off and broke on me. Uh, we turn, the, the front of house supervisor came in, and she said this place stinks. Uh, she came over to the salamander and said, "Yeah, this there, it, this smell is here." Which immediately I cocked the thought that I was suffering from carbon monoxide poisoning. I was not getting enough oxygen because someone hadn't said that the thing was broken or was leaking. So we had to close the kitchen immediately um, at 7 o'clock, so I lost three and a half hours worth of work that I'm not getting paid for, uh, and uh, we had to go home early.
and at that point I was feeling very disoriented, very sick, very dizzy. <clears throat> like that's how I knew it was carbon monoxide poisoning. Hi George! <laughs> uh, you're in joining in on the uh, conversation of uh, why I got sent home yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> happy, happy jamboree here. How's it going, George? How are you? See, here's the thing. If I wasn't, like... Oh, jo George! George! You don't have to do this for me. Sure we do. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I don't. I've never quite understood my uh, inspiration, personally. Um. Uh. Wait. I, I actually have to say some spiel here, don't I? Um. Uh, <laughs> George, thank you for giving a gift out to uh, Jim Lumetta. Oh, I can never say your name properly, Jim. I'm sorry. Um, enjoy the uh, enjoy the uh, the cute boy emotes. Take him out on some ventures. Thank you very much. And George, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> thank you for subscribing to the channel. Um, enjoy those cute cute boy emo emotes that you can now take on adventures. I don't know why I say it that way, because, like, my avatar and myself are kind of very disassociated. Like, he's very cute, he's very lovable. He, he, he wears many hats. Um, and that's, like, I should really explain Q Boy, shouldn't I? Like, I think it was just a one-off thing that I was like, okay, I can only draw in vector graphics and paint. I see one hat, yes, you see a hat. That's, uh, that's the, uh, L.A. Noir one. I, ha I have a, a, a doubt emote. <laughs> um, Cute Boy himself is like... Oh, oh, this is the final boss. This is an elephant in a ringleader's hat. Um... Like, it was something I made in paint, and I was just like, um, and then casual Kefka. Yeah, so he gets he gets headgear like he's Kirby, but he has, like, <laughs> it could be. Um, yeah, so he gets just headgear, and it, it, it changes, like, what the reference is. So, that's the end of the game, by the way. Um... The really wig is from Cosmos, that is, from Xenosaga. And the hood is from Thief, he is Garrett. Yeah, I think this took me a little longer the last time I played it. <laughs> Can from head, head part. I, you know, the thing is, I thought of an emote for it. Um, and the emo I immediately thought of was Momodora for some reason. So if you've not seen Momodora, like Momodora for Reverie in the Moonlight, um, like the priestess nails down, na um, kneels down and prays at uh, at save point. I thought of that with a head pack. I should actually like show Momodora. Um, that game. Momodora. Uh, Reverie Under the Moonlight. Do we have just the main character? I 
think I've just got the box art here. Yeah, we'll just have to go with the box art. Yeah, so this this charming young lady down here. That was going to be the head patty mode, was this lady here. His name is Dick. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I'm going to take a quick... Oh, she looks like the uh, the Emerald Herald. Sort of. <laughs> I saw a duck called Candle. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, this is made by... <laughs> somewhere that did not give a toss about Disney's... Uh, is these copyright rules. I mean... Head wang. <laughs> yeah. The end. Well, at least that's in my records now. No, the, the whole thing about this was that this is a, a ROM hack. Uh, and the original ROM hack intent... The original, like, jailbreak version. Let me uh, let me find it. Squirrel King. And I'll give uh, people something to read later on. Uh, but the Squirrel King game is actually very notorious. Uh, because of what it is. I think I might be able to see. Yeah, bootleg games wiki. Yes, this was an actual game. Uh, I can probably switch to... Uh... Oh shit, I didn't show the game over, can... game over screen. I should, probably should. Oh, wait. Come here. Uh, let's put that across here. Uh, da -da -da -da. Like this? This is what it originally was. Like, it looks so similar, doesn't it? But then they're gonna burn them alive. Game over. I have Conker's Bad Fur Day. I have the original cartridge for Conker's Bad Fur Day. Uh, okay, I'm going to get up for five minutes. If anyone needs to stretch, take water, whatever. Whatever you need to do. Medication. Yes. <laughs> Medication. Uh, I will go and quickly use the restroom and then come back. Do I have the legacy? Cl I, I would put it up to a vote, but I guess people want me to uh, play... Um, you know, what, let's let's play Mega Man Five. Uh, but uh, not Battle Level Five. Mega Man Five. That is the Mega Man I'm in the mood for, and I don't have it installed. Mega Man. F yeah, that is quite a different. Uh, quite a difference. Right, I will be back in about two minutes.
just about installed. I think it's installed. It's at 99%. Right, uh, I just need to cut my recording for YouTube and then restart.